was just going to be showing you guys this really, really good solo bass. Now, this is the one that I've been looking for for such a long time. I just want to get a solo bass that you start off with like a 1x2 and then you move up to something bigger where you have a ton more loot rooms and they're all separated. This bass was created by Zed, so full credits to him. He told me that he had a really good bass he wanted to show. This pretty much takes care of all your needs, including that large furnace, which is obviously pretty cool to have. But yeah, as I said, this base is basically a 1x2 at first, and you move up as you go into the server. The more resources you got, the more you can expand. So in total, with everything included in this video at the end, this base costs only 17,600 stone and 5,200 metal, which is quite a lot. But keep in mind, the exterior isn't necessarily needed in the beginning. That could be done later on, and also keep in mind the base is completely built but it doesn't need to be this big you'll see what i mean later in the video but yeah that is pretty much all that i have to say the fortify link will be in the description if you want to go check that out i decided i'd put that in the description for once since i've had some of you guys ask me for it but yeah we're just gonna go straight into the build i'll only be doing these like once a month if even but yeah anyways hopefully you guys enjoy the rest of the video thanks for watching peace Let's go ahead and start the build. Here will be your first loot room. Make sure to have your doors like this. What this does is that since this will be your starter base, if somebody tries to go deep on you, they won't be able to if both of your doors are open. This is also where your TC will be placed. Now when you have the resources to expand, this is where you're going to put your large furnace. want to make sure it is as low as possible. From there you want to make a little bridge to come across over here. And this is where you will enter the base. Now this is where your two beds will be placed. Now this could be for you or your friend. You can also have yourself a little drop box here as well, just like so. You can easily access your room and easily get out. And something I forgot to also mention for the second room, you can go ahead and add yourself multiple boxes if you want, but what I would do is add myself a little locker just to have in case you got some people raiding you and you want to get your good gear on really quick. Now to the other side, you just want to go ahead and add your ladder hatch. Now for the second part right over here. And then over here, this will be your other loot room. So you're gonna go ahead and place it just like I do. Make sure you take your time for this part because you wanna be able to put as many boxes as possible, of course. And just like that, you have six boxes that you can reach, each separately, just like so. 
Now I highly recommend you go ahead and place a bed and whatever else you want but make sure you do place a bed because if this part is getting raided you want a way to get back over here. Now for one of the most important parts where you don't want to mess up this is where we're going to go ahead and place down the walls. Make sure they're perfectly aligned just like so. As you can see they are very well placed and nobody is going to be able to enter your base. Now back inside you want to go ahead and place down a ladder just like that so when you're over here you can go ahead and jump on top and reach this loot room. Now if you place it correctly like I did, you'll easily be able to get through both sides just like that. Now let's say you are playing solo and you don't think you need any more room. All you have to do to finish this base up is pretty much just put a couple of these wall frames just like that. And pretty much add in these four floor grills and then you are completely set. So you've now went from a starter base to a very solid solo base where you have multiple loot rooms in completely different areas. Already if somebody were to raid you, they would have quite a lot of problems to access all of your loot rooms as they are completely separated into different areas. Now let's say you have a friend joining you or you need some more room to store your loot. It's not over yet. You can of course continue this base by just doing what I'm going to do. From this point, you want to go ahead and add two doors, just like so. And two wall frames, just like so. Make sure you flip these two the correct way, just in case they radiate from the top. Before adding these two sheet metal doors, you want to go ahead and make the loot room. Now for this little area, you have the choice to go through putting a research table just like this as well as a workbench. Or what you can do is put a turret just like that and then go ahead and block it off of course. Now what this does is that if you are being raided from the top, you can basically just open up this door and run over, open up that door and then a turret is going to go to work. Now for the last loot room, we're going to go ahead and put four chests. If the door is in your way, just pick it up. Now this would be your last floor. Pretty much what we're gonna do now is just patch up the top and add one extra layer just so that if somebody raids us from the top, it will be a lot more of a difficult time. Of course though, before I do forget, you wanna go ahead and place down four metal bars. Of course, as well as four shutters that will definitely do the trick. Now for the top, basically put in four floors overall as well as four wall frames, just like so. From here, we're going to go ahead and add four roofs overall. This will also cover up the stairs that will make it obvious that there is a loot room in that area. Now we're not done yet, we have one more step to do. And that is adding all the outside stuff, which is pretty much going to protect your base a ton more. Just follow exactly what I do and everything should be fine. Keep in mind, you don't need to do this until after you're done building the base completely, of course. You can do this at any time, you can do this step by step. This base is one of those bases where it's not all in one take. You develop this base over the time, so of course you don't need to do this if you don't want to, but like I said, this will do a lot more protection for your base. So just follow exactly what I do and everything should go well.
so yeah that is pretty much the end of the video i just wanted to show you guys this super cool solo base so you can just expand on your own anyways if you guys did enjoy this video i would appreciate a like and if you're new to the channel i would also appreciate a subscribe those of course help out the channel quite a lot but that is pretty much it for the video i'll only be doing these like once a month if even but yeah thank you guys for watching and peace